Hey everybody, Mike Iaconelli. Want to talk to you a little bit about the two baits I used at the BASS event on Toledo Bend. Uh, didn't have a great tournament, but it was one of those events that was a spawning fish and post-spawn fish kind of event. And that's what I focused in on. I focused in on catching both spawners and post-spawners. Um, for the spawners, you know, I relied on a, one bait the whole tournament, and it's a bait I helped design for Berkeley Havoc. Uh, and if you look at it, it looks like a french fry. It's called a backslide. Backslide's a really unique bait because it actually will glide backwards. And on a spawning fish, a fish that's on a bed, or a fish that's guarding fry, and that's what they were doing at Toledo Bend, this was the perfect choice. I threw it um, exclusively on a real light braid, and I threw it on 15 pound spider wire floor braid with a liter of 10 pound Berkeley Trilene fluorocarbon. And I fished it with a number one, uh, one aught VMC worm hook. Uh, and that's key. You never want to use too big of a hook on this backslide. And I would basically fish to visible bedding fish or visible fry fish. I'd cast past the target. And then when I got up to the target, I would let it fall on a semi slack line. And because the backslide is weighted, it's heavier in the rear, it's actually going to slide toward that fish. Caught a lot of fish at Toledo Bend event on that bait right there. And then for the post spawn fish, what I really tried to target were secondary points, especially secondary points that had a little bit of milfoil on them. Uh, a lot of different baits I could have used, but I focused in on a really cool new bait by VMC called a, a rugby head, a swinging rugby head. And if you look at it, it's basically a rugby jig head but we've got articulated a hook on there that lets that bait swing side to side. And I would cast this thing around these secondary points, swim it through. Anytime I contacted that millfoil grass, I just give it a little snap. And I decided as a bait on that, I used a Berkeley Havoc Devil Spear. I did that because not only does that VMC swinging rubby let that bait go side to side, but now with that serrated tail on that devil's spear, you get a little bit of quiver on the tail. And, and I caught a lot of fish that I couldn't see, post-spawn fish, on those secondary points. When you get into that scenario where there's spawners and a few post-spawners, fish up shallow with a nice little finesse plastic, fish out deep with a little bit heavier plastic, and you're gonna catch some bass. Mike Iaconelli here for Tackle Warehouse. We already know that the Domeki 4-inch air frog is a great mat bait. It's great for buzzing through scattered grass and wood cover. But this bait's also great under boat docks. A lot of people don't think about a topwater bite under a boat dock. But with this thing, you can skip it under a dock. You can twitch it like you would a pop R, twitch it like you would a hollow body frog because it'll float that 6 alt beast hook.